guys, welcome back to another episode of the final Great War, the third and final Great War. We are facing off against the Russian Empire, Tibet, mostly all of, basically all of this place actually, now that I re think about it, um, and the UK. Um, right now we got both of France, and we basically got the rest of the world joined in. I mean, this is basically the rest of the world in on this war. Um, right here though, we are apparently losing this. I don't get that. Uh, we're about to win it though, if we can quickly crush these guys before they send in more men. But for some reason, we have major difficulties with this. Um, and let's see, do we have enough to give military access? Let's see. I don't believe it's military access. There is a way, I believe, to actually be able to go attack these guys. There isn't? Huh. I thought there really was a straight. There's usually a straight, like, right between here that you can usually use to go attack. I guess not anymore. Anyways, though, uh, we have to deal with the Russians right now because the Russians are going to be an annoying power to deal with. They always are. But we have literally so many men at our disposal, it doesn't even matter. Like, I should be feeling much more threatened by the amount of soldiers that all these people can raise up into fighting us. But literally, we have so much, it doesn't even matter. We have literally everyone we would possibly ever need in this war. Uh, you guys, the Confederation should be able to deal with all of these guys over here. Um, America, I'm kind of mad at these guys didn't join in. You guys are supposed to be my friends. Yeah, now they won't join in because of alliances. So... Yeah, they're basically out of this. Uh, wait, is America become friends with Canada? Because that'd be really weird. No. Good. Okay, and what our general goal in this in this war? It was to just basically see if we could actually declare war, and we did. And we're also going to try, maybe in a sidebar, to also try to uh, free maybe some Indian provinces and destroy the rest of the uh, UK nation. Speaking of which, what made this a great war? Oh, it's France. Doi. <laughs> I was like, why did this, why this become a great war? Because France joined in. What's a France? It's this country, sir. Uh, yeah, we're basically, we're basically guarding the Straits right now to make sure that they can't do anything. But I'm wondering, I, I swear there's usually a passage right here. Dover Bank or something like that. That you can use to, like, just go across. I guess... Huh, I guess maybe not. Well, you know what we could do, guys? Since we have enough uh, power, is what we need to do is we need to get our 80 transport ships, may I remind you, all the way back up to our to our seas. And it looks like we basically have a clear running. So what we're going to do is we're going to go send these guys right here. And we should be able to make it back pretty safely. You guys, Portugal's already in the war, so this is all good. And let's see, they're sending all the troops to the front lines. That's why I call the front lines. And let's see, Ukraine, would you guys join me back into my uh, sphere of influence, please? Uh, thank you. Okay, let's see, is there anyone I have to worry about right now, too? Cordial, Occitania, Hostile, uh, in sphere. I don't really care about Kukan. Spain. Spain actually does need to get banned over here in our, in our friends. Ban them. There we go. And let's see, what else? The Ottoman Empire. Hmm. How many really influence the Ottoman Empire? Let's start doing that. Let's see, Ukraine. Both friendly to both of my... Gosh dang it, you guys are both annoying. Uh, let's see, let's do it to the... Let's do it to the Germans first, and then we'll go to the Russians next. Okay. Yeah. We're still increasing... Wait, right here. Yeah, we're still increasing faster than they're doing it because they're not really willing to do anything. Let's see. Maybe some one of you guys will actually get some military access to uh, Ukraine. Ukraine's been a good ally throughout the years. Uh, you guys don't want insufficient relations. What the? Why are you guys just suddenly like the... Hey, you guys cannot do that. You guys just cannot just suddenly decrease relationships because we're still... You're still in my sphere, baby. You have to still listen to me, Okay. Don't just, like, suddenly decrease relationships out of the blue. That's just, like, weird. But, let's see. Let's go send all of our troops right here on the border. And what we're going to try to do is actually mount an invasion on England. And I'm going to be shocked if that actually works. But we're going to try it. And over here, it looks like the uh, British are being swarmed again by our massively more superior men. Yes, you can have access, Romania. I really don't care. 
Uh, France is definitely destroying all these troops over here. We're just kind of destroying all the African forces over there. Over here is where I'm really having worries, because I feel like Nationalist China is about to get their throats ripped out. And that's really the kind way of putting it, because I think I might have sent them on a gigantic, you know, death camp run. Whatever you want to call it. They're not going to live. Oh my goodness. But there's not much I could really do about it. I just... Oh gosh. And it looks like, okay, it does look like there's some access through here, which is good. France is always just gets access to the randomest parts of land. I don't know why they just do. And we somehow got lucky. Uh, you guys are starting to like us again. I don't know why you guys hated me in the beginning. I don't even know why I'm wasting my time in giving you guys relations. We should only be BFFs. Okay, it looks like there's a lot of different battles going on. This is going to be a heavily fought area once I try to take it over. Like, seriously, heavily fought. Ireland is definitely also, uh... Kind of a heavily fought over area. And let's see, you guys are moving into over here, so that doesn't really matter. We're going to crush these guys pretty quickly. Okay, does it look like that place is a little bit less safe now? So, I think what I might do is actually dock up right here. And this is the capital of the Confederation. Wow. Huh. That is not where I would envision a great mighty empire of this African state to be. But, hey, maybe I don't know much about anything. Which is probably true, people. It's probably true. Alright though, it seems like we literally have so many men, it doesn't even really matter. But we just need transports and troops so we can start like launching invasions of the British. We also need to start attacking the uh, mighty Russians. Ukraine, I do still don't know why you guys hate us, but we're going to try to change that. Because actually, if you guys could join in, wait, when does your truce expire with the Russians? Uh... When do you guys expire? Oh, well, by No, 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 The following countries is claimed here. Oh, does that... Oh, does that basically mean you guys' contract is up? So that means we just need to increase relationships enough to where you guys actually want to join in. And then you'll join in. Sweet! Okay, so as soon as we're able to, we're going to get these guys to join in our war. And then we're going to declare war and fight these guys off. The mighty Russian Empire... I don't know where the Russians are actually going with all this. This is actually a pretty unique war. Oh, they're going through... Everyone's just going through the Ottomans' lands. <laughs> That's so hilarious. This is, seems like something I would do, actually, to tell you the truth. Okay, um... Let's see, we're gonna have to wait a little bit. It seems like the, uh... The seas over here are becoming a little bit less stable. Because of all the, uh... All those troops. Let's see if we can make it all the way over here without dying. I'm not sure if we can. Maybe I'm hoping that the uh, Confederation can keep the uh, everyone else busy, or we just try to sneak past our transports to go like start transporting troops to the uh, mainland. I mean, this is going to be a main. If we can actually do this, it's actually going to be major fighting we're going to do with the British. The British are pretty good at sea, sea naval warfare, but when it comes to actually fighting on land, I do believe they're not as good, at least in this game. So we should be able to do stuff. I don't believe that three, not, no offense, but I don't believe that three stack will be able to fight against as many troops. Okay, let's see. We're going to have to try to get past them, though. Ooh. Okay. Go crush these guys just because they're actually right in our way. Okay. Four versus twelve. This should be a clear-cut winner, but apparently it's not. I don't get that, but it's, apparently it's not. And let's see. We got a sinking in Polymer. Oh, no. No, they sunk our battleship. Okay, let's see. Can I? Dang it. I don't. Uh, okay. We'll spread out just because I don't want all my troops to just die in one place. Okay. Yeah, please spread out just so that we can have a good amount of troops. Let's see. All right, there we go. And let's just go from there. Two ships left. All right, let's see. We got. Wow. These guys are seriously on a collision course to try to attack me. Yeah, I would not do that. Okay, I'm going to go right here, maybe. Let's see, there's a good French protected waters over here. So let's go right here and then uh, maybe go right there. Ah, oh, man, I'm trying to reach my own... I'm trying to reach my ships right now. It's it's really hard. Oh, my goodness. And then the British attack me with an even bigger ships. Oh, okay, okay, they only have one ship. We could probably fight that with... Okay, this is going to be a major dis... 106 ships versus one ship. This has got to be the battle of the ages. 
I gotta watch this. What is it? It's a cruiser. This is going to be insanely sad. Okay, you guys, go right here. Go crush these guys. With my amount of dreadnought power, this should not be very hard. Uh, okay, I have literally like 56 dreadnoughts over here. Please crush these guys. Okay. Okay. Brunei. Uh. Uh. Did, did I conquer Brunei? I don't remember what I did with them. Ew, it looks like you guys did that. Decline. Maybe I want Indonesia to conquer you, huh? 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 Let's see. Did Indonesia add you guys as a war goal? Dang it. Indonesia add you guys as a war goal. I would totally accept. If you guys want to conquer Brunei, I would totally not be against that. Seriously. You guys, go conquer Brunei. Nationalist China is getting their butt whooped by almost everything. Oh gosh, that is terribly... Please peace out, Nationalist China. Please peace out. I, 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 it would not be a strain on your honor, trust me. I would not feel any less for you guys. And oh my goodness, what the heck? Um, the Germans must have allowed relationships to happen between them. And now I have Russians coming through my border. <sighs> Let's see, how many troops do you guys have? Literally a thousand. You guys should be able to handle this. Okay. Over here, though, apparently my ship, ships can't handle, like, literally two ships. There we go. I, I think they just destroyed them, finally. Oh, no, wait, there's now four ships, and we're still somehow losing this. What the heck? Come on, destroy them. This should be, like, really quick. Like, I shouldn't even have to think about it quick. Okay. Let's see. There we go. They're finally dead. Those ships that took forever to kill. Finally dead. Okay, combine everyone. We're going to make this a big, gigantic army, and we're going to go attack the uh, English Channel. And, yeah, I'm not going to deal with any of this, because I'm pretty sure my men could probably deal with all this. You know what? Okay, sure. We can do Great Peace War Capitulation, whatever you want to call it. I'm pretty sure all these guys can go deal with this amount of Russian soldiers. Okay, I really don't have to fight this. Okay, and it looks like France is moving in over here. Let's see, you guys like me a little bit more now. Good. I don't know why you guys didn't. It was kind of weird. Go to 83. In fact, once these guys join in, we're basically going to have definite borders with Russia. So all these guys should be like, hey, yeah, we have definite borders with Russia. We're going to go attack now. Okay. Now what we need to do is find a good straight opportunity. Because the, the, these guys are going to be terrible to take on. Like an amphibious landing in... in uh, England is going to be terrible, so we have to find the right, proper place to attack them in. If we don't find that right, proper place, we might die. So let's see, get them all on the ship. Uh, how long uh, could it last? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Okay, let's get them on the ship, go over here to Dog Bank. I'm pretty sure the UK does not have every single part. Oh my goodness, they might have every single part of this shoreline covered up. Uh, wow. <laughs> I'm amazed. Um, okay, well. Well, what we could try to do is do an invasion of Ireland, but that may cause a little bit of difficulties. Um, yeah. We could try invasion of Ireland. Let's try invasion of Ireland, people, because that's apparently the only place that's, like, completely unsafe. Hoorah! World Trade Fair begins! Huzzah! Okay, and let's see. Russia is rapidly crushed. What the heck, guys? Cover me up! Ah, uh, you know what? You know what? These guys aren't gonna do it. Okay, everyone, return back to land. We're gonna have to go defend myself because apparently my own uh, people are not defending me, which is kind of annoying me. Seriously, guys, I know you guys want to crush through everything, but seriously, uh, that's not exactly too important. Okay, yeah, you guys have to be crushed through, Nicholas China. Okay, um, naval integration. Okay, we have literally 43 ships, right? This, I swear, this should not even be a competition. I have the most advanced ships about to be built. Okay, do I have the most advanced ships? No, I still need more na naval training. But I have most of the advanced ships. I should be able to crush through everything in that. There we go. Crush through everything in that pile. Let's go see. Let's go to the George Canal. Let's go see. We have a massive fleet right here. This would be scary if this was actually the fleet. Now let's go land on Wexford. 
I mean, this is going to be really scary because I'm going to have to transfer a lot of troops. Oh, wait, no, we don't have that many troops. Okay. Well, then let's go right over here to Helengrad and make sure we have the war score target so that just in case if we uh, have problems. Let me guess, Italy is now attacking you, Sicily. Is that the truth? Uh, yep. Italy is now attacking you. Okay. Two Sicilies proceed. Okay. Yeah, let's go crush these guys. Uh, Occitania, I need you guys. I need you guys to go join this war. Please go crush uh, the Italians for me. I really don't care how you guys do it. Just go crush them. Okay, you guys are almost in alliance territory. Let's see. You guys just need a little bit more relationship. Get my relationship up. Ukraine's now all happy. Yay! Okay, let's see. We're going to go conquer Helengrad just so we have it and just so that we make sure that we do own it. Because, honestly, I'm going to need to get a lot more men. And first off, I have to go protect my own men because of my own land because apparently... All these guys can't protect my own land, so let's go start crushing these Germans. I mean, not Germans, these Russians. Ah, another big foe I've had to deal with this entire game, people, is the Russians. Russians have basically been one of my numeral enemies, number uno. Hey, let's go see, and my forces should be enough to defeat them. Just number-wise, we should be enough. Let's go crush these guys. Uh, go crush these guys. We can actually do a stronger front right here. Just do a stronger front right there, since that one's not crushing that easily. And we're just going to counteract all these massive troops. Let's see, you guys now like me 113. What? Okay, we'll just keep increasing the relationship with these guys until they are willing to... Until they are willing to accept an alliance for me, which is what we really want. Okay, let's go right here. And it looks like... <laughs> okay. Uh, add a war goal of... Make puppets. Oh man, this is this might put me over my infamy. Oh man, dang it, dang it, dang it. Well, hope you guys. I hope you guys take as much as you guys want from these guys. Seriously, take as much as you want from Italy. I don't really care. Just make sure you guys get what you guys need. Okay, over here, we're going to land a little bit of troops on the Helengrad. Take that province. And make sure that we are winning the war goal. That's all we need to do is we just need to make sure we're winning the war goal. That way, war score starts ticking in our favor. Because apparently it's like ticking against us right now, which I don't believe. Okay, let's start driving these Russians back. Okay, because now they're starting to become really annoying presence in my own empire, which is annoying. Let's see, we also got some rebels right there, which we're going to have to deal with. Deal with some troops right here. Yeah, it's a good thing I have all this occupied because I know where all the troop movement is. Let's see, we also have troops over there, troops over there, you were, yeah, they're definitely crushing through all of China. <laughs> oh, poor China. It's a good thing the capital's over here, because otherwise they'd definitely give up by now. One island controls all of China. That is, like, hilarious. Seriously, that is hilarious. Okay, we almost got troops landed out there. Okay, let's see. Okay, let's go right up here. Let's go help the Portuguese defend themselves. Okay. Okay, we got that done. Let's go see. All these troops just start crushing through all this land. Okay, we need to go find that like $80 troops. Okay. Go down here, go crush through all of this, go back up. Yeah. Need you guys to go just go do that. That way we can kill off the rest of this $80 stack. Let's see, you guys. The Italians are about to all die. <laughs> oh gosh. And let's see, we're defeating all these guys. Let's see, we got the war goal sieged up, so that means we're gonna gain. Now since we got the war score, we're gonna start gaining the war score, which is good. Go to get these guys on the boat. Actually, just like, wait, wait, just stay right, stay, 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 there we go. Okay, and getting zoom in closer, you guys go right there. We're just gonna keep you guys right there for now. And whenever I need you guys, I'm just gonna have you guys come out. Right now we're just crushing through all the German lines. Because the Germans are kind of annoying a little bit. Like seriously, they are seriously an annoying force to deal with. We'll crush that stu two stack. Yeah, look at this. We're just now that we actually got into this, we're just crushing through everything. Okay. 
Looks like they have a little slight difficulty because all the freaky corps have moved down here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.